all righty i have a construction update for you guys today so checking out canada's wonderland in park on a friday i have to suggest it to you guys it was so dead it was such an amazing day honestly so much fun hanging out with uh my friends and checking out construction and checking out some new stuff by the way stay tuned to the end of the video because we have some surveying going on at the park again but nonetheless here is alpen fury in all its glory um so obviously even just from the drone footage a couple days ago they have worked really hard and pegged out, knocked out, why did I say pegged? Knocked out some of these footings for the uh, Sky Flyer roll, whatever they call it. Um, so that's really exciting. I am a little shocked that they haven't touched any of the areas that, you know, they could have benefited from with the park being closed Monday to Thursday. Um, but nonetheless, we'll have to wait and see. So about half of this element is done. Um, they got to do work on that surface road back there on some footings for the entrance into the roll itself. And then almost where, <clears throat> sorry, pardon me, I coughed. But um, almost where that uh, drill bit is, is where it's just going to keep continuing. So it'll be really exciting to see that in the drone update next week. Um, I'm fully expecting them to be done this element and then we should see them moving on to other areas of the ride. No mountain demolition has occurred quite yet on the top of the mountain or the sides of the mountain. Um, but outside of that, um, that's all we have for this side of the construction site. But a lot of the footings are marked along the way towards um, Lazy Bear Lodge. So the drop coming out of the inversion coming out of the mountain is now marked as well. Um, and then pretty much every footing in this area is marked. So I am assuming this is where they're headed next. They're gonna come and do all of these footings um, over the next, maybe not next week, but the week after that. So that'll be really exciting to see too, cause that'll be like right up in our face. Obviously a lot of these trees are gonna get removed. Um, it is starting to look like a lot more trees are gonna get removed than we had originally thought. So this area is going to look a lot more bare um obviously than it does right now so wherever elpen fury is headed a lot of those trees are just gonna get removed but again elpen fury is a lot better than trees i say that now but you know when i'm lacking air 20 years from now i'm gonna be regretting this statement but nonetheless inside the mountain not much has changed at all they are working on that second new level um so creating that new level the area that the coaster is gonna head up and out um, from what I understand is pretty much done. So if you look up there, you know, they're insulating, they're creating that new floor. But yeah, heading on over to Kidsville, well, it might not be named that too much longer, hint, hint, hint. Um, there has been some surveying that has take place in, taken place in Kidsville. Um, I can't touch on too much about this because I do feel like um, I know a little more. Um, I will talk about it when I start to see something happen that I'm waiting for. But I think you guys, if you're especially a Patreon, you have heard me talk about what is going to be happening to Kidsville. Um, for you guys as viewers, I need to wait probably another year before I can touch on what's going to happen to Kidsville. But if you're catching my drift here, you can probably gather a little bit of a, um, a thought. Um, so nonetheless... Um, really excited for the future at Canada's Wonderland. There are further, you know, possible things happening. So there is just too much happening to even discuss. There are even changes to things that I thought were going to happen, like a GCI that maybe not be happening anymore because plans are changing. You saw plans change with Elpen Fury. So just honestly buckle up and stay tuned because. Canada's Wonderland is honestly a, a park that you're going to want to keep your eyes on. There's things in the works and things changing left, right, and center. And I don't think anyone can begin to even predict three years from now. Because if we thought something was happening, it's most likely not happening anymore. So you're going to want to keep your eyes on Splashworks, Kidsville, and Medfair. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.